you, you discuss LSD and marijuana, and you said that you you may have been involved in some of that. I've I've heard that um, some people think that that can open you up to uh, a different way of thinking, particularly the LSD that that would almost allow you to kind of cross over to a different uh, way of of thinking or a different side of consciousness. What do you think about uh, that? Definitely. That's exactly you know, what it does. It opens you up to a, an egoless state, which many people would say is being in touch with your true self. And uh, I have to admit, I took LSD a lot when I was a young person, maybe over a hundred times. And as far as I'm concerned, it was of great benefit to me. I think it's uh, a, a very important drug. It used to be studied extensively, and now there's a, a new resurgence of research in that area. I, I think it's all very promising. And uh, I have nothing negative to say about it for myself. I've always had positive experiences with it. And I think it was an important catalyst to open me up for uh, the studies that eventually became my life's work. So could you give us an example of a of, uh, quote unquote trip on that, that that may have given you some ideas um, as far as the afterlife and like what what happens beyond this world? Well, you know, all of the personal experiences that I've had about the afterlife were not uh, involved with drugs. The, the LSD experience, I certainly had a sense of higher consciousness. Well, something does come to mind, Devin. On LSD, you can, if you're taking it with friends, which I would do, if you look at a person, if you stare at their face, very often the face changes and you see face after face after face after face. It's as if you're looking at all of their past lifetimes, sort of. Uh, so I, I had that sense uh, on, on LSD. Uh, although LSD is a very powerful drug and that that sense was important, but it wasn't even, you know, I wouldn't call it the main thing. How long does a, a trip on LSD last usually? Gee, it's been a long time since I've taken LSD. <laughs> but but my best guess uh, uh, from my recollection is it could be about eight hours. And you really need to give yourself a day to recover from it afterwards. Uh, it's very good after you've had an eight hour trip to spend the next day, you know, in quietly absorbing and digesting and meditating and just sort of reflecting on what you've been through rather than jumping right into your normal habits and workaday activities. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please help me out and like this video, then click the subscribe and get notifications buttons so you don't miss any of my latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Facebook at The Hannibal TV for more live streams and videos. And while you're at it, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at The Hannibal TV.